In what's being called a medical milestone, for the first time in history, scientists have successfully implanted full-functioning lab-grown vaginas. The study involved four girls, ages 13 through 18, who were born with a rare genetic condition that caused them to lack or have underdeveloped vaginal organs. A medical analyst for WTVT explained how the process of recreating the organs worked. They take cells from the girls, but then they use a matrix, and that matrix or that scaffolding material comes from pigs, and then they, they develop this organ. Researchers from the U.S. and Mexico conducted the study and continued to follow up with the girls. Over time, it's now been about eight years, the implants developed into true vaginal tissue with nerves and blood supply. The results, published in the journal Lancet, revealed the implants showed variables in the normal range in all areas tested, such as desire, arousal, lubrication, orgasm, satisfaction, and painless intercourse. But that's not the only groundbreaking news to come out of the medical world Friday. In a separate study out of London, doctors were able to help cancer patients through tissue engineering. They created human cartilage from a patient's cells, rebuilding the damaged nostrils of five skin cancer patients. With the major shortage of organs, researchers hope their work in the lab will someday help relieve the crisis. But researchers admit they are still a long way off. In time, if the methods are approved by the FDA, doctors could potentially help a wide range of patients, including those with cancer or injuries, and even men seeking sex change operations. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.